Hi, I'm the Introverted Affiliate, and this is how you can make designs for your print-on-demand products for free. By the end of this video, you are going to know exactly how to make designs good enough that people will want to buy, and I will show you how to make a very similar design I made to get my first five sales. I'm using the print-on-demand site Redbubble, so you can use this site or a different one if you like. To create the design, I will be using a free software called GIMP, so look in the video description below for a link to download that if you need to, and then you can start your first design. The design I will be making is for socks, and on Redbubble, the dimensions for socks are 5848 pixels by 6300. If you are using another site, check what dimensions they recommend. Once you open GIMP, you will go to File and choose New. And then for Width, put in 5,848 pixels. For Height, put in 6,300. And then go to Advanced Options. For Resolution, 300 pixels per inch is fine. Then go down to Fill Width and choose transparency then hit OK and then OK alright this is our background layer now right click in this menu and choose new layer name this layer lines and then choose OK then right click again choose new layer name this layer color hit OK now select background once you have the background layer selected you can go find an image that you want to use for your design I'm just going to use this hamster as an example so I will maximize the screen on YouTube now press shift plus print screen at the same time get out of that screen go back to GIMP push edit and paste now press shift plus S to scale it up larger alright now press R for the selection tool and then click in the empty space now this image is in the background layer so switch to the lines layer once you have the lines layer selected you can press P for paintbrush and then if you hold in the control button plus use the mouse wheel you can zoom in or out then for the brush settings I have the hardness at 75 and the size is 30 so you can either use your computer mouse to trace around the hamster or in my case I have a tablet so it's easier for me to trace around it and if you make a mistake you can press control Z and it undoes the last action. If you don't have a tablet and you don't want to trace around the hamster there is another tool that makes it easier and that is the paths tool up here. If you select paths then you can use your computer mouse to just trace around this hamster. If you click the left mouse button and hold it in and then drag you can make a curve so that helps then if you want to make a sharp angle like this you can click one of these 
squares and then change the direction of the next line. So if I want my next line to go this way, After you get the hamster traced, you can go up here to edit and then choose stroke path. You can choose the line width. I'm going to choose 20 and then stroke and the hamster is traced. So now I can hide the background layer. and then hit R for the selection tool and this is the outline of the hamster we didn't quite get the ear right on this side so I'm going to select the paint tool by pressing P Now I can go in and I can trace the eye. The nose, the mouth, the paws. whiskers Okay, now that the outline of the hamster is done, you can go select color and then for size of the paintbrush go, I don't know, 150, no let's go 200 and then go up here and choose a color for your hamster maybe this tan then color in the hamster But make sure that the line layer is on top of the color layer. So drag that up there. And here we have the hamster colored in. Now choose push shift and E to select the erase. Get the eraser. Then for size, I'm going to bump that down to about a hundred. Go back to the color layer. I'm just erasing the excess 
around the outline. Now if you press A, you can get to the airbrush tool and I'm going to change the size up to 230 and then for the color I'm going to select a darker color maybe for the size I'm going to choose 340 going to change my size back down to 80 so I can color in the pause it back up to about 200 give the ear and the nose some color once you have your design finished to your liking then you can come over to the lines layer grab the select tool Select the hamster, press Control C for copy. Now go to the color layer, press Control plus V to paste. Then click the mouse on empty space. Now everything is in this color layer. You can use the selection tool and then control C then hit control V this is going to paste the hamster and you can hit shift plus F and then left mouse button will flip the hamster now you can push shift plus S and you can scale and then if you hit shift plus R you can rotate then press R click the screen and we have two hamsters in different positions the better way would be to get different images of hamsters and then trace and color them in so it's not the same exact hamster copied over and over again but I'm just showing you the easy way the lazy way to do this would be to just copy and paste the same hamster flip it rotate it scale it so it's not exactly the same um, that way it'll look a little bit different so now I can take the hamster again paste flip 
rotate scale Rotate this one and scale this one a little bit. And now we have a hamster family. Oh, wait, I forgot. If you want to just move your selection. You have to go up to select, push float, and then you can move the hamster around. All right, I'm going to select this group of four hamsters. Scale it down a little bit. Now I want to copy and paste these. After you have pasted your design to fill up the workspace, then you can export the file. Go to File, Export As, choose a name, select your design, I can scale the image. Also, I can choose pattern on here. Sometimes you have to play around with it and try to get you know, make sure that it's not going to get cut off because it looks kind of bad when the design gets cut off at the seams like that. But anyway, you go back in here and try to rearrange the design of the hamsters so that it'll look good on the final result. And like I was saying, I recommend that you not just copy and paste one thing all over the whole pattern because it will look better if you actually had you know five different hamsters different colors different positions or whatever animal you might be designing so I hope you found this helpful and you can take this free program and start designing things and hopefully start making some sales. So I'll talk to you next time when I find more of the best ways, the easiest ways to make money online.